Hey guys, this is Ayakshu Devakar here and today we are going to talk about the Kindle e-reader. So why I bought the Kindle e-reader is just because I was reading a lot of books on my phone, the PDFs. I go to school. Yes, it's not that just because I go to school I should read. You should read otherwise too. Anyway, my mom must be laughing somewhere. I bought the Kindle just because I was reading a lot of books on my phone and I was straining my eyes and I thought Kindle is uh, glare free and it does not strain your eyes might as well just go with it so I bought the Kindle e-reader so I bought the Kindle e-reader for $59.99 but I got a sweet discount on it but just because it is an Amazon product you can pay for your Kindle on an, uh, monthly installments and you have uh, for months for five months or a whole year so you can choose that and I think that is brilliant and you don't need like a social security number for that for a student it is very very convenient the design of the Kindle is very sleek and simple and the battery life is incredible it surprised me when I came back to my Kindle after three weeks and it was still charged Obviously, it, the battery diminished, but it was still charged. I thought it would have been dead by then. And uh, at the start, you get a tutorial, and uh, since you get the tutorial, I won't be talking about the basic stuff. Some of the features of the Kindle are incredible. You buy a Kindle, and you buy this book on Kindle, or you download the app on your phone, on iOS, Android, or your iPad, or your tablet. You can read that particular book on any medium. So, for instance, you have a Kindle, you bought this book, and you wanted to read, and you're traveling in a car, or subway, or bus, and uh, you wanted to read, but you forgot your Kindle at home. So you can just remove your phone, and go to your Kindle app, and you can read the book on your phone and think that is incredible it has 4 GB of storage space so you can have like thousand books downloaded on your Kindle so I was helping my friend to move her boxes to her new place and she had a box full of books and it was very heavy and I just asked her why don't you buy Kindle and she goes hmm interesting all those books could have been on a single tablet and it is so sleek and light you, when you just hold it you know it is super light and very convenient and portable so you have a store where you can purchase the books and I had a very good experience with that I wanted to buy a book and the normal price of the book was $11 and for Kindle it was $4 so I enjoyed the discount for that book New York Times is actually in the experimental browser so you can basically read a article or the newspaper on your Kindle on Kindle when you read something and there is this particular word that you didn't understand you can highlight that then you go on the vocabulary builder and you can basically understand the meaning and how the word is being used this is one of the features I really really liked and uh, you can learn new words just like that one of the things i really didn't like about the amazon kindle is that the pdfs that you have when you import it from your mac to your kindle you would expect that they will automatically go into your libraries you are wrong you have to go on the search bar and search for all the pdfs that you want to read why are you making our lives miserable amazon that's just crazy and uh, I think you should make it much much more easier for the user and I think the PDFs should be in the library or some other place maybe make a new tab so it is a disadvantage if you import your PDF into the Kindle and I think that Amazon can be much 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 more user-friendly if they can do something about the imported uh, PDFs into the Kindle so the ebooks are fine they are awesome to read but what about our PDFs that we have 
on the Kindle. Now, if you go on to the experimental browser, you can browse around like, like a tablet, but obviously it's black and white and you can go to different URLs like Google, basically all the websites you can go to, but I won't advise that because it's very slow and it's black and white. It's no fun. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video and you're welcome because you're going to thank me after this video, right? No? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Subscribe to the channel and please like this video and please stay tuned because I'm going to come with a lot of more content. Bye.